Hello guys and welcome back to, I believe this will be episode 14 of Full Maps. So the last episode got split into a two-parter. It, yeah, it was pretty long. Um, we did a little bit of farming and stuff mainly in the last, last episode. And that's kind of what I want to finish off this episode, is getting my the item rowing sorted. So I could probably do again myself a shovel, actually. Uh, a shovel, I think, I believe would be pretty helpful. Just, just another iron one will do. There we go. And what are we going to be doing? So yeah, so the the item routing is exactly what I'm going to be doing. So we could probably do with getting some servos and stuff set up. So I could probably do with getting these guys, so, so the hardened ones. They're a little bit more of a pain to make, mainly on the fact that they require invar blend, which is simply... Can you make invar in a... I suppose someone to consider actually, can you make invar in something like an induction smelt. Yeah, you can with Invar with iron and nickel, which isn't the end of the world, I suppose. I don't know why I'm doing this upstairs. I probably should be doing this downstairs. I feel like my eye should be watering because I'm just eating that onion. Uh, do we have any nickel? We should have some nickel in here, right? Yeah, that's some nickel. Uh, so if I pump you and you in there, I'm not going to use all my iron, so... You know, we'll go for that. And that seems like it's a, that's a pretty good setup we have going. So we've got some Invar. So I believe it was called the hardened server was the app. So they've got. I probably could do with a filter actually as well. So the filter restricts what may pass through it. So I could probably do one of these actually. Get myself a. But can we just get a basic one actually? Because if I don't have to use Invar, I don't necessarily want to. Yeah, so I potentially could just use this. Um, I believe we have some sugar cane. Do we not have any sugar cane? One thing I must admit, I hate not being used to this keyboard. It's very, very frustrating. I keep pressing the uh, F11 key, which then obviously puts it in full screen, which then breaks the recording for some reason. So it's kind of annoying. But the one thing, I know we do have some sugar cane outside, so it's not quite the end of the world. Yeah, I could just go outside, get some sugar cane. And that should be the end of this. Here we go. So I've got some paper. I can use this to make myself just a basic filter, really. Sugar cane, I'm not really bothered about farming because you don't really need it all that much, I suppose. Uh, let's see. So now I can make myself a little bit of paper. One, two, three. I can make myself some basic servos. One, two, three. You know, I'll make three just in case. And I can also make myself some basic filters. So basic filters. Here we go. I'll make three again. Why did I not keep the server servers on me? Here we go. So I might just get myself another small storage crate since I think they worked pretty well for me last time actually. Uh, let's see. Chest is just simply some planks. We had a wood again, but yeah, chest. And so we should have a fair bit of oak wood, <laughs> given the circumstances. Okay, so crates. I don't want to. Tra Why is he trying to offer me um, trapped ones all the time? Two, three. Uh, do we have enough other than that? I believe we should have enough. Yes, here we go. So I can get a crate, which I'm basically just going to use to. I can probably do with another crate actually. Um, just on the basis that we, we're going to have apples appearing, I want to say. Like, given that we're going to have quite a lot of apples appearing, um, we'll say quite a lot of apples. We're not necessarily going to have loads of apples, but we're going to have, you know, I want to say a fair few amount of apples. So I think having a crate for apples and stuff as well, um, maybe a crate for exit saplings, but we can always get to that another time. It's not quite the end of the world. If I don't do excess saplings now. Let's see, let's search for crate again. Wood casing. And boom. I don't know why, but it always seems to get a bit FPS y for whatever I seem to search crate. I thought it was like my recorder or something playing up, but whenever I seem to search up crate in JEI, it always seems to give me a bit of FPS trouble just for some random reason. So if I show your working area, which is perfectly fine, so if I. Here we go, so you, you've already. Collected some, so you've already chopped down a tree, presumably. Um, it's not been sown yet because obviously I don't have any more saplings to put back in it. 
But what I'm going to do is essentially have here and here. It's going to be the place where I'm going to have the crates. And one of them is going to be for wood, one of them is going to be for apples. So if I set up an iron duct and I basically run you here. Luckily there's no like tilled ground or anything for me to have any problems with it. It's not the end of the world. There you go. So I can just do a bit of continuation of what I've been doing before and simply sliding you down here. And what I want to say is all saplings are going to go this way. So do I have do I put filters on here? So if I put the filter in, and all I want from say to you is is sa saplings only here, and this is going to be a whitelist for only saplings. And these guys are going to be whitelist. I can just have individual whitelists for other stuff. So I can set you up like that, and you know that's kind of neat actually, because I was worried about having to have my item just sticking out, and that kind of hides it in a pretty neat way. I'm going to have to fiddle around with you at the minute, so if I stick a filter on you and a filter on you, I can say, because we have apples and wood, I can say wood is going to go into there temporarily. And if I want to whitelist wood, and you are going to be whitelist apples. So if I now stick a servo on you, and I click redstone disabled, you should now be working pretty fine actually. You should be working around the clock. So you should start filling up with apples, and you should start filling up with wood, hopefully. Are you going to work? So you appear to have sent your stuff somewhere. Oh no, did I? Oh, I took it out, didn't I? Derp. That is me being a derp. Other, so we have now one for wood and one for apples, which is nice. I'm potentially going to automate this and set it to pipe downstairs at some point. Uh, that's something for another day, I suppose. For now, though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use not quite the remainder of my cherry wood, but I'm going to use quite a lot of my cherry wood and just dump that down here. Just so these guys have, you know, so you have some, something to chew um, while they're busy, I suppose. So one one can have you can have twelve you can have ten you can have ten again. So that should be enough. Well, we've already created quite a lot of rubber, which I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna steal you. Turn you all into dry rubber. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna run out of rubber anytime soon. So let's search for rubber again and let's stick you straight straight into the furnace. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with what's going on, guys, I think. So if I go up here, I've got the potato farm that's now working perfectly fine. This is, yeah, we're basically getting a field full of potatoes. We've got some earthworms and stuff going on. We've got a tree farm in here, which is also producing me, you know, a fair amount of wood. I think we've, we had 10 originally in there, and now we're down, we're up to 14. So, you know, we're making progress. I think the system's all working perfectly fine. All the saplings are getting rerouted. I'm not, once we get a backlog of saplings, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I should probably set up a system to get rid of maybe backlogged saplings, but I think for now it's not going to be too much of an issue. So I think what I'll do guys is I'll be right, right, right back once I have some, something more to show you guys. So yep, so I think I, well, I think I just didn't quite press record in time there guys, but I did definitely see some saplings you know, disappear off there and get planted. So one thing to probably check though is in here, are you working optimally? So I believe uh, yep, so he's planting all the saplings. Everything is working exactly how I'd hoped. So we've now got a tree farm and a potato farm. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with that, guys. So we've got basically infinite power, you know, being produced in the trees. So I think at the minute, Plum Land is looking pretty damn green in terms of its carbon footprint. I mean, look, we're, so we're, you know, we're lying on, we're just basically extracting the sap from the trees and we're basically, you know, burning that and, you know, in the combustion generators, getting the, you know, um, some energy out of that where you know get a potato farm going we've got a tree farm going i think we're looking like a pretty sustainable organization at the minute guys i think i'm pretty happy with that so i think what i'll do is i'll sleep through the night guys and i'll be right back okay slept through the night and what i'm gonna do is do we have any potatoes or anything 
Because one thing I do know is, I don't know how well our whitelist system's working here. Um, it, so it might be working pretty well actually now. I don't think we have any, we've not got any potatoes in here. Which is obviously a good thing, which means they're all getting recycled and put into there. But what I probably could do with doing is just getting a system of automatically um, turn them into baked potatoes, since I don't think there's not really many other uses for potatoes. Um, so I might just sort of convert them into baked potatoes. So I'm just going to go out and bone meal stuff. We might get the odd potato that doesn't, that gets plonked off and so they obviously it's not designed to be like bone meal like that so do we have any potatoes so yeah i'll count these as extras and hopefully they should get replanted into the system i'm just trying to basically make it reach a reach a point of having uh, a max amount of potatoes and actually producing potatoes as soon as possible really since at the minute i'm just basically i'm to hold off until the field gets full until we have enough potatoes but yeah hopefully we should be able to have enough going uh, yeah, like so once the system gets going, we should have plenty of potatoes being produced, and we should have plenty of food. Um, the, yeah, food should no longer be an issue after that. So I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna be right back. Okay, guys, we're back, and I think I've managed to find find a pretty neat uh, solution to our need for resources. So I believe you can get a builder, and I believe you you can get a quarry card be a builder so if I look at this this is what you need you basically need a diamond pickaxe a diamond shovel a shape card which is pretty basic and I believe we might actually have enough to make a pretty basic quarry um, which I'm pretty happy about if I'm honest I'll obviously have to get some sort of filtering system so like stuff like cobblestone doesn't overflow our system but I believe this will be a pretty neat way to get some resources actually and I'm pretty happy we're doing this so you can get stuff like silk and fortune and clearing and like clearing silk quarry. So this, I believe, is, so you can basically look at what they all do. So, so the quarry, for example, it will cause the builder to quarry all blocks in a configured space and replace them with dirt. So you can use that one if you really wish to. You can also get the one which just clears, which basically means that it will clear the area and just leave giant holes everywhere rather than replace it with dirt. I'm thinking of replace, replacing it with dirt. It sounds like a bit of a neater solution, I think. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get myself the builder. Now I think I remember when I looked at the recipe before. I believe you need some brick blocks. So as a point, I should, I should probably look at the recipe. F Have I really forgotten the recipe for for a brick? No, that's impossible. Oh, that's what dimension. Oh, this looks a bit dimension bill. I was like, what the hell's the difference? I was like, oh, oh, so I need to smelt it first. I. Makes it vanilla Minecraft concepts that Morgan's oblivious to because he's a moron. Derpity derpity derp. Okay, builder. So, what we're going to need is the machine frame. Now, do we have everything we need for the machine frame? Everything except the golden nuggets, I believe. By the looks of things. So, machine frame. There we go. One machine frame that I've just chucked on the floor like a moron. Builder, we need some bricks and the redstone. So, I'll just basically need to wait for the uh, bricks to smell up. Other than that, we are basically ready to go with that. Although one thing I might do is get myself the quarry card going first. So we need the clearing quarry and you basically need to surround it by dirt. I'm tempted to go with the clearing quarry, I'm not sure. Since it will give us some room for underground expansion, so you know, I might go for this kind of thing. So for the quarry, you can just basically surround it with glass to make the clearing, so it's not the end of the world. So clearing quarry card. Can I make you? Yes, I can. So I can make you, and I can make myself a diamond pickaxe, and I believe a diamond shovel. I believe we have one of those. Yes, we do, because I've found some diamonds. I believe, and only that was off camera actually when I found those. I'm quite annoyed about that. But I, I, I can't remember. I believe that was when I was. Re I thought well, I was recording, but I believe the sound wasn't quite configured, so you couldn't hear me, which was completely useless. So I figured, you know what? I might as well just ditch the episode. There's no point having an episode where I'm just completely silent throughout the entire thing. I believe that wouldn't. That would be some pretty. Well, it lack entertainment value, I believe, and any sort of in information value. Just if I'm uh, completely silent throughout the entire thing. So I believe we should be ready to go with this builder. Yes, we are. So, do we have our quarry card? Yes, we do. So, what the quarry card? And what type of quarry are you? Because quarry all blocks, if we get to basically with dirt. 
I'm kind of thinking a clearing car would be better. Not gonna lie. I know, I think obviously a lot of people will just have the preference of replacing it with dirt, but I believe I just kind of prefer to go with this. Now, of course, this isn't something I've ever really used before, so, so this builder can, can quarry areas. So, if I place this guy down and I say place him, some, I don't know, say here, I don't. In fact, actually, what I might do is quarry in this power area here. So if I if I just say set myself up something like this here. So if I set myself a little bit of an area up, this isn't something that I've really messed around with before. I've not really like played around with it in single player or anything. So if I put you in here, do you require any kind of markers? Okay, that's a lot of stuff from extra utilities that I don't believe is going to be helpful. If I type, just type in mark. There's that from Britannia, some stuff from Chisel, so if I look inside you, so if I say builder at northwest corner, da da da. So I think what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna have a look at this inventory and I'll be right back. Okay, so I believe if I'm doing the quarry I might make give myself a bit of an upgrade. So what I'm gonna do is get myself something called an atomic reconstructor. It's a pretty neat device. If I go for uh, a leadstone plug that and I put this guy I believe I'm going to need something like a button to make him work. The button's not the end of the world to make, it's just a piece of stone. And I think, where should I put this guy? I'm thinking I'm going to stick this guy here. So if I stick you there, and a button above you, and I'm going to need some coal for this. We don't have an ov overly large amount of coal, but it's not the end of the world. I stick you there. I believe we are running power directly down from here, so I might just kind of chase this guy in just a little bit. Can I sort of like sneak to that block? Guess I can. Oh yes. So if I connect you up to there, you should have power. Yes, you do. And are you going to work? There we go. Boom. We've just atomic reconstructed this coal into some void crystals, which means why are you firing still? Don't tell me you're in redstone mode deactivation. Hold a redstone torch to the toggle. Oh no, we're in the wrong mode. Basically, I'm in the mode where it will just continually fire now without any kind of rest pulse. Is it pulse? Yeah, we want pulse mode. So pulse is the one where you will it will wait until you give it a redstone signal for it to fire. There we go. Rather than just continually firing its late laser and wasting power. So we're going to use that much, and considering we are basically full on the fuel, I don't think we're going to have much of an issue. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do though is get myself some more leadstone energy conduits. Now I don't think this core is going to go very fast at all, given that we are basically using leadstone. Do I have any lead in here? Yeah, I really need to set up an automated transfer thing for this. Why am I getting leadstone energy transfer conduits? I've already... wait, hang on. I'm being it up again. Leadstone energy conduits? And... And I kind of want to, I think the output is, so that's the input side. So if I, this guy's just being powered by the generators, it's not even being powered by this. Uh, where is the actual, so all that stuff upstairs is just purely being powered by uh, the generators, which is, I suppose it's not the end of the world. So, so in this case then I can literally just do that. Normal quarry clearing. And well, you are you are, you are filling up with a lot of power, so I can tell you to stop by the looks of things. Is that how, how this? Works? So redstone on to activate. Okay, so I believe a lever. Do you work with a lever? Let's just go normal redstone lever. I believe they look kind of cool with this fax text back. I must admit. So if I stick you you there, and I not enough room. Uh, do you st oh yeah, I'm going storage unit. Derp. I was making the storage crate, wasn't I? I'm getting ahead of myself. So I'm, I believe I'm going to need to make one of these guys anyway. One, two, three, four. It's not the end of the world. Just means I need to make some more wood casing. Small crate, medium crate. That, that is not exactly what I wanted at all. So void crystal block. Oh, we need more void crystal, don't we? Which means we're going to need a lot more void crystal than what we thought. So I need 36 of it. So half a stack should do me. And that should be enough to make a void crystal block that we need. 
to go and head and make our storage crate. Now, I'm, this is going to be a very temporary solution, but I think I'm dumping everything in here isn't going to be the worst. So yeah, we have two pages. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. So if I stick this guy here, are you going to work? Not enough room or usable storage on top or below. Ah, okay. Not the end of the world. Just means if I route you to there. You to there. Whoa! I did not expect that to happen. Um. Okay. Slightly bad idea, I think. This guy could probably do with being offset just a little bit. Is there a way I can see your... This would be how it's a position where the builder is working on. Is there a way you, it can kind of tell me where it's going? So it has decided it wants it wanted to sever its own power link, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure what this guy is doing. So support block. I think what I'm gonna have to do, guys, is have a look at this machine in detail, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I believe I've kind of, kind of fixed this. So I right clicked or I shift right clicked on this guy, and it appears to be telling me. Uh, whoops, I did not mean to do that. If you shift right click on it, it will then tell you that you can um, select the first corner. So I believe I can pick the area that I want it to work in. I'm not sure if I have to go all the way, all the way down to bedrock for it to work, but I can definitely safely say that I would much rather it start work, say, in that corner. And what if I go over to here? And this, So now settings have been copied over to the card. So if I stick this guy in here and I set it to work on again. Okay, by the looks of it, it does work exactly how I thought it was. I'm, I'm literally gonna have to go and pick two completely different coordinates over different sides of the world, presumably, that are gonna be responsible for sorting this out. So yeah, I think what I'll do guys, I'll go and pick some coordinates and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so as much as that was a gigantic pain in the ass, I'm pretty much done. There you go, so I've managed to mine the area out. So I believe if I now, input these coordinates into here and I flick the switch are you going to work? yep so I believe what it is going to be not enough power um okay I figure this would so it has okay wow so it's clearly gone and done quite a lot of mining it's obviously going to run out of power since it's basically now drained the batteries of all these generators what I could potentially do is run it off of the energy cell although um I'm, what I'm kind of worried about is it literally draining all of the power <laughs> and then we're not having any sort of uh, system going. So it's running, you know, it's running, it's just currently running really slowly because like I said it's only running on power that we have stored basically. So like these generators are now working on full blast to try and keep up with this generator. Well, this uh, quarry rather. So it's not like the end of the world. One thing I'm going to do though is use a little bit of the cobblestone that is mined to fix the gigantic hole in the floor that he's decided that he wants to make. So if I stick you there, I shouldn't have to, there shouldn't be any mess or anything. There we go. So if I stick you there, and you there, what I'm potentially going to do is set up a bit of a system to uh, get rid of all the items I don't want. Oh, no. Built a